Victoria Nolan is someone who's overcome her disability uh, to achieve things that she never thought she would ever achieve. The disability that Victoria, or Vicky as her friends know her, is referring to is of course vision loss. I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa when I was 18. Initially I, I actually felt relief because it explained a lot of things that I was having trouble with. I'd always had trouble in gym class, I was always, I always thought of myself as clumsy. And um, so having this diagnosis just explained everything. As Vicky got older, her vision continued to deteriorate, but she was initially able to adapt. Things got more complicated, however, after the birth of her and her husband Eamon's first child, Tarov. After I had my son, uh, I lost quite a lot of vision and, and doctors had predicted that that would probably happen, although it wasn't definite. And so then we were faced with this sort of moral dilemma of whether or not to have another child. But I knew I wanted my son to have a sibling. I knew I was going to lose my sight eventually anyway. And so we went ahead and, and had Kaylee. And of course, it's you know the best decision we ever made. Um, I love my kids. But it was a very tough time when they were little. Um, for any parent, having two little kids is really tough. But when you can't see, uh, it's, it's really hard. Even simple things like visiting the park and crossing the street were daunting obstacles for the new mother. And uh, so I was hurrying across the road, but didn't see that there was a snowbank in front of the curb. And so the stroller caught in the snowbank, and I couldn't figure out how to get it around or over. So we're kind of stuck. And meanwhile, the cars are coming towards us. So this guy like, leaned on his horn and was swearing at me out of the window. And I was so rattled and shaken by that and, and scared because, you know, I thought I, I could still look after my kids as long as I, you know, I was careful. But... This kind of made me feel like I couldn't. Despite the challenges, Vicky was able to persevere as a parent, in large part due to the support of her husband, Eamon. We just rolled together. I think like her going blind actually made us physically closer because she's always holding my arm, we're always holding hands, we're always together. We figure out rides, we figure out everything as a team, and supporting her is easy. I just We just share and decision-making, and she's always right. <laughs> Humor is a big part of the Nolan household, but joking aside, Eamon believes his wife is a fantastic mother and knows having eyesight is not a prerequisite for being a good parent. Vicky is grateful for her husband's support and credits him for pushing her forward when things were at their worst. And he's been phenomenal um, like to get me out of that that time when I felt like I had no future, that was all him and he was telling me for years, you know, you got to find something to be passionate about, you got to change the way you look at things and he didn't give up on me, he just kept on telling me that and I finally listened to him and that's when everything started to change. But things really took a turn for the better when Vicky found rowing. Initially, it was just a way to stay active, but rowing quickly became her new passion. It's so different from my everyday life where I'm being careful and slow all the time. And then in the boat, you know, I'm not clumsy, it's graceful, I'm moving fast. And uh, yeah, it's just a totally different feeling. I feel like that's me in the boat. I'm in my everyday life, I'm held back all the time. In the boat, I'm free. That passion helped her land on Canada's para rowing team. Between 2007 and 2015, Vicky won four world championship medals, including gold in 2010. During her third trip to the Paralympics, she and her team also brought home bronze at the 2016 Rio Games. Great result for the Canadian crew. There they are with their bronze medals. That was Canada's... Grant Summers has been a competitive masters rower at the Argonaut Rowing Club for 20 years. He met Victoria when she first began her rowing career at the club. Victoria came onto the scene in 2006 and by 2007 she was already competing at her first world championships. So she was focused and determined and you know, I think she had a take no prisoners attitude as far as competition goes. It's funny in rowing people can, can have that competitive side to them and they can be the nicest person you've ever met. And I think that's the mark of a champion when, you're, when, you, when you have uh, adversity to overcome and you, and you do just that. Um, I think that's what, what makes her special. 
In addition to Vicky's competitive traits, she's also resilient and has a knack for perseverance. Vicky and Eamon see a lot of those characteristics in Tarov and Kaylee, and in turn, they see it in themselves. I've heard all these stories now about like what she had to do, like when she'd take me and my sister to the park and how that was like hard, but she did it anyways and how she like pushed through that. And I can sort of think of that when I do my own thing in life. When I'm going through something hard, I think about what she had to go through to do something like that. And it's like, it's inspiring, right? When things get down, don't give up because when she first went blind, she felt like everything was over, but she persevered and pursued rowing. Overall, I think things are better because she's blind, because for one, it's changed our lives that she's in the Paralympics, and two, we have Alan for that, so. <laughs> Alan, of course, is Vicky's guide dog and loved member of the Nolan family. Vicky's rowing days are likely behind her, but she still remains quite active and asserts that she always will. Today, she's focused her energy elsewhere, like hosting AMI This Week. And there are more fantastic stories coming up here on AMI This Week after the break. It's been a lot of fun. I was actually surprised uh, that I would love it this much. I mean, it's, it seemed like a cool thing to do, but I was just having so much fun, um, learning a lot. And um, yeah, it's a great team of people. I love that we're educating people, so I still have that part of my life. And um, yeah, and just raising awareness about what people with disabilities can do. It's something I've always wanted to share with people and so to have this you know, platform and this audience is great.